Good evening to you. Let's do some uh, elasticity of demand practice. And uh, so when you do these, it's important to always think about uh, what the formula is first. So uh, what are we solving for? So the elasticity of demand is the change in quantity demanded as a percent divided by the change in price expressed as a percent. So you may actually be given uh, some kind of elasticity. We'll say you're given 1.5 and you're given the change in demand is we'll say 100% uh, and then they want to know what was the change in price or the percent change in price. So pretty easy. All you do is uh, just solve it algebraically, solve for this value, so multiply both sides by that, then divide by 1.5 and then you'll get that. Okay. It's not the kind of problem I'm solving, but that's how to that's how to do those. Okay. All right. So I've got uh, three set up here, and uh, the other one I want to know uh, in order to get these percent change formulas here. How do we do that? So here's the change as a percent formula. So we want to do the new uh, minus old. It's kind of hard to read. Sorry. Over the midpoint. And then all of this times 100, okay? It turns it into a percent. So that's the formula there. All right, so we'll do the first one. We're going from, whoops, we're going from quantity demanded of 200 to quantity demanded of 800. And so the new uh, quantity, I like to do quantity first because uh, it's on the number on the top, okay? So I've got this, and then what's halfway in between that? So. Uh, what you can do is add them together, so that gives me a thousand, and then half of that is five hundred. Okay, all of this times a hundred, and so I've got uh, six hundred over five hundred uh, times a hundred. So I'll just pull up a calculator here. It's really, just six over five, be one point two. So this is a percent change of one hundred and twenty percent. Okay, so I'll leave that over there, 120%. And on the bottom here uh, for price, uh, we're going from 60 to 100, or from 100 rather. And this is this number is going to be negative, um, but we don't have to worry about that. Everything's going to be just done in absolutes. Okay, so the percent change here is going to be 80 over 80, which is 100. 100%, so I've got 120% divided by 100%, and so for this first one, it's 1.2 is the elasticity of demand, and this means it's elastic. Okay, the next one, okay, that's this one. Let me do this a little bit faster here. So this is uh, going from 60 to 30. So 30 minus 60 over the midpoint which is 45 times 100 so I've got uh, 30 over 45 which turns into two-thirds which is 67 percent I'm rounding here because we're trying to get a, a round number here right so um, oops I just clicked a little a little button there okay uh, then on this one I'm going from one to three okay so the three oops Three minus one over two times a hundred. Okay, and so this is going to be uh, two over two, or one hundred percent. Okay, so this number I'm going to end up getting is 0.67, which means the second one is inelastic. Okay, so why do I care about all this? Well, if it's elastic, that means the percent change in quantity is higher than the percent change in price. So following the revenue test for these guys, I actually want to cut my cost, or cut my price to the consumer because I'll make more revenue. Okay, the consumer cares more about the price in this in this sense. In this sense, uh, for this example, because it's inelastic, I actually want to raise my price. Okay, this is going to give me more revenue. Okay, so that's that's why we that's why we make you do these, and that's, uh, that's that's why we care, right? This data is really important. Lots of firms want to get a hold of this data. All right, last one. Quantity demanded goes from 1,000 to 3,000. So 3,000 minus 1,000 over 2,000 
times 100, and I'm going to get 2,000 over 2,000, which is 100%. And then uh, price drops from uh, 3 to 1, so it's 1 minus 3 over 2 times 100. Remember, this is going to be negative, but we're going to turn that into a percent. So we've got 2 over 2, so we've got 100 percent here and this turns into one. So this is the term for this is unitary elastic. Okay, and so what that means is that a one percent change in price is going to cause an equal one percent change in quantity demanded. So for these guys, um, you know, I, I'm going to think about my price, but it, it doesn't matter in terms of revenue where my price is headed. So that's how to calculate uh, price elasticity of demand.